All right, we are still on module one numbers, um, but for this recording, I want us to discuss time formats or time notations, right? So <coughs> we have two. Um, well, there's actually several, several time formats, but the most commonly used ones are the twenty-four hour time format and. Um, the 12 hour time format so you have the analog watch right the one which has the second arm minute arm and the hour arm right the shortest one being the hour arm and then the longest one being the minute arm so the wrist watch you have um, it uses the 12 hour um, the 12 hour time format and then the 24 hour one it's being used mostly by digital clocks, right? Some wrist watches are digital, right? Um, in in Isizulu, they say umatimeza, right? Umatimeza, right? The digital one. So the twenty-four hour one, it uses all. Well, it starts counting after midnight. Um, the first hour being one o'clock in the in the morning and then the second hour being two o'clock in the in the morning and then so on and so forth the 24 hour one right so in the in a day we have how many hours 24 hours so the 24 hour clock it counts all the hours in the day from 1 to 24 but the analog watch right maybe if I can do this yeah, why not? This is the analog. Analog. Analog watch. And then this is the digital one. The digital watch. This is the digital watch. Right? Umatimes. So the analog watch it's the twelve hour one. So it divides the um it divides the the day into 12 hours we have 24 hours in a day but the 12 um, the 12 hour time format it divides the day into two um, into two right so you have the first you have the first half of the day being the morning from one o'clock in the morning so after midnight until um, 12 o'clock in the afternoon that's the first 12 hours then after 12 o'clock in the afternoon you start getting what um, the other half of the day so the day is being divided into two the first part of the day is referred to as the a.m. and then the other part of the day is being referred to as the p.m. so I don't know why the English language it loves using um, Latin words so PM stands for post meridium 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 ish I don't know the spelling correctly but it's post meridium no okay this is not examined but in case it comes up in the exam just you know now you know now you know ente meridium Meridium. Ente meridium. So ente meridium stands for AM post meridium. So ente meridium, it simply means before midday. Post meridium, it simply means after midday. Right? So the midday part of the day, it's what actually um, cuts the day into, ha in, into a half. So that's the analog watch, the 12 hour clock. And then we have the digital clock so the digital one it's the easiest one right so if if it displays like okay like this time it says 13 hours 13 zero zero so this is this is one o'clock in the afternoon right so let me show you something let me show you something maybe let's have a table here maybe let's have a table um why not why not why not draw the table why not draw the table 
so let's have a table like this like this and draw a line like this draw another line like this and then maybe several lines as well maybe let's have you here and then you here you here you here you here and then when I here when I here when I here I'm not gonna go through the, through the entire day I just wanna make examples so we have the 12 hour clock we have the 12 hour clock on the first column and then we have the 24 hour clock on the second column all right so let's say it's um let's say it's 12 o'clock right after midnight it's 12 o'clock after midnight right let's say on my analog watch i see that it's now zero one zero zero right if it's after midnight so the clock should be one uh, uh, it should dis um it should display zero one zero zero a.m it's before midday it's a.m it's in the morning right so the 12 hour i mean the 24 hour clock will also display a zero one zero zero but the 12 hour clock does not use the a.m p.m system right so make sure that in a question when you convert between the two you don't use a.m p.m for the 12 24 hour clock so let's say maybe it's two o'clock a.m before midday even the 24 hour clock will also display a zero two zero zero now let's fast forward and say what if it's seven o'clock in the morning so it's still a.m because we are still before midday as well as the 24 hour clock will also display a zero seven but without the a.m p.m let's fast forward a little bit and say hey it's now nine o'clock a.m in the morning the 24 hour clock will also display a zero nine zero zero right zero zero but without the a.m p.m what if it's 12 o'clock 12 zero zero p.m right so when the clock the analog clock strikes 12 o'clock um the, the 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 hour arm and the minute arm are aligned and pointing to 12 o'clock so you have your watch with the arm the short one and the longer one pointing to 12 o'clock and when you check outside it's broad daylight so it means that we are we just struck um we just struck um midday right midday so that's 12 zero zero p.m so this is post meridian it's after or it's the beginning of the um post meridian so what does the 24 hour clock say it's 12 o'clock without a.m or p.m now what if the clock displays maybe 12 30 it's now p.m right it's now p.m still the 24 hour clock displays what um wait wait 11 one okay 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 my bad my bad my bad my bad my bad it's gonna be zero zero p.m here zero zero p.m and then it's gonna be a zero zero thirty p.m if it's it's the tw it's the tw it's the 12 hour clock right so when it strikes midday it starts from zero again and then it starts counting the remaining 24 hours right so it's gonna be 0 0 p.m. 0 0 30 p.m. but the 24 hour clock continues um, counting right it's incrementing until it gets to 24 so um, for 0 0 30 it's gonna be 12 30 right 
without the PM AM notification, right? Um, or system. So zero one zero zero PM. So that's one o'clock in the afternoon. The twenty four hour clock will will give us a thirteen zero zero. So what if it's let's maybe say it's now fourteen thirty twenty two so remember 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 your clock um it, it starts off by displaying hours and then it also displays the minutes and seconds right so the first number before the colon it's hours and then after the first colon that's your minutes after the second colon that's your second so this time reads reads as 14 hours 30 minutes and 22 seconds on the 24 hour clock but the 12 hour clock will display what um, 0 to 30 minutes 22 what p m p m and then let's say maybe we now have a 0 5 um, I don't know, maybe 32.03 p.m. What time is it on the 24-hour clock? That's going to be a 17, right? 17 because at 5 o'clock p.m., so this is 2, um, 15, that's 3 o'clock, right? 16, that's going to be a 4 o'clock, um, 4 p.m. If you, you think, if you think of it in terms of the, 20 uh, i mean the 12 hour clock and then five o'clock will go is gonna be what 17 hours 32 seconds and zero three seconds so this is my 24 hour clock and my 12 hour clock notation so this will conclude our lesson on time formats and time notations so what you should take away from this lesson is that <coughs> In an exam setting, you should be um, or you will be expected to know how to convert between the two time formats, between the analog and the digital clock. So you need to know how to um, convert between the two time formats. So, yeah, this is the um, last. Uh, this is how we conclude our lesson. So catch you on the next one and in class. Bye bye.